These children are casualties of war. Their parents have been killed during the conflict in South Sudan, or they are so poverty-stricken that they simply can't care for them. 50 orphans live at this facility in the capital city, Juba. They range in age from just a few months to 19 years old. Some have lived at the centre for a decade. It's so hard for someone to lose her parents than to stay alone. But for us, because I'm here, nothing wrong, I'm just happy. Those people who are with us here, they used to be like our parents who were with us before, nothing wrong. And we are happy. The orphanage is supported by the government, but also relies heavily on charitable donations. While there is plenty of love and affection for the children, the resources available to support them are limited. The objective of the centre here is we are keeping these children in order that they will uh, get education. Uh, secondly, we want to make them self-reliant, they can depend for themselves. Sadly, we want to make them good citizens, tomorrow they may help in the development of the state here. Peacekeepers from the United Nations mission in South Sudan are making a contribution by visiting regularly and providing support where they can. And I look back, you know, at my kids at home and I see that they've got, you know, unlimited access to toys and entertainment and, and loving families and people that can help them and support them and that, that infrastructure doesn't exist here in South Sudan and the, so I think it's I think that's why we're here, to help the kids. And if we're not here to help the kids then then why are we here? On a Saturday morning, more than seventy unmissed personnel gather at the centre to do some desperately needed spring cleaning. The children join in as part of a process to educate them about the need to be vigilant about hygiene. Furniture is removed from the buildings and washed clean. Floors are swept and dirt scrubbed from the walls. What little bedding the children have is washed and aired in the hot sun. Bathrooms are scrubbed clean and disinfected to reduce the risk of waterborne disease. Overgrown weeds are cut back to make it safer for the children and to enable vegetables to be grown. The children are eager to help, although they are a little more excited about sharing some lunch and playtime with the peacekeepers during a break. The orphanage operators are grateful for the support and the shared commitment to helping children reach their full potential. There is a lot of opportunities if they study properly, if we give them a proper life, they have opportunity to go ahead, they have opportunity to work, they have opportunity to come, even the governors, the ministers, the teachers, pilots, they will come, engineers. If we give support properly, they will be a leaders of tomorrow. The orphanage also looks to the children's future by trying to trace their extended families in the hope of reuniting them. This is a huge challenge given that a third of the 12 million South Sudanese population is displaced either internally or in neighbouring countries. For all those caring for the kids, it is a chance to help them reconnect with their communities and access the opportunities they need to realise their dreams.